Soul Apis and today we will change the solenoid valve from Anita. This operation are the same for all the 50s line coffee machines. Remember to use the glues. Disconnect the machine to the power supply. Use the screwdriver PH1 to unscrew the two screws of the top of the machine and remove the water tank. Remove also the resin filter and the cover, copper cover. Remove the water drip tray. Now I can remove the top machine. I have to okay, push tube. First of all, use a uh, adjustable wrench key to lock the solenoid valve with 12 mm wrench key. Unlock this thing. Okay. Remove the adjustable branch key. Remove this tube from this fitting, push the ring and pull the tube. Okay. Push the ring and pull the tube. Okay. Now we have to remove all this part. Use this cut screwdriver for help you. Okay, push this fitting in this size and uh, push the ring from this fitting and as you can see all this part came out okay pay attention at this tube you have to remove it okay and pay attention and the connection. Remove uh, these two wires from the magnetic solenoid valve. Okay, this is the old solenoid valve and this is the new freeway solenoid valve. Okay, this is uh, the solenoid valve. It's very important to have the correct position of uh, the solenoid valve. Uh, if you don't insta install, if you don't install the valve in the correct size, uh, the machine doesn't work. Before to connect, uh, you have the number two. You have uh, this fitting. You can see the number two is this. The first fitting to install is this because you can check the correct size to install the solenoid valve. Okay, now I have to connect okay, this uh, fitting. When you put the glue, you have to stay in this position put the glue in this position is a mistake because you can lock all the part of the solenoid valve and the machine doesn't work a little bit of glue okay this fitting and uh, lock the fitting in this position as you can see is the same okay and now we have to install uh, this uh, fitting okay. 
with the 13 millimeter wrench key lock this angle as you can see is the same connect the new solenoid valve the wire connection I have uh, the exhaust pipe put the solenoid valve into this fitting okay now it's locked okay now we have to connect the pressure gauge fitting with 12 millimeter key and uh, okay and uh, the adjustable key branch key I lock all this part with the adjustable key and with the 12 millimeter key I can close this fitting now I have to connect the angle fitting with the tube please pay attention this operation can be very very dangerous okay power cord turn on the machine I push the coffee button and turn on the machine now the pump are, are filling the coffee boiler when the water came out turn off the pump switch off the on off button remove the power cord and connect this wire to connect the heating element now connect the power cord turn on the machine and wait Now the machine is reaching the correct temperature. Now the boiler is hot. Okay, we can uh, close the machine and uh, we have to check uh, all the function. Turn off the machine, insert the tubes into the hole on the upper part to the bodywork. Take care to insert the upper bodywork in the red rubber. Use the screwdriver PH1 to screw the two screws on the top of the machine. One screw here and one screw here. Reinstall the resin filter. Okay, in the, the smallest tube, insert the water tank, the fi resin filter first, and the second tube. Second.
And now we're finished. Thank you for watching.